Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to determine the polarity of XCF4 molecule. It is a chemical formula for xenon tetrafluoride and to determine its polarity we are first going to look at the Lewis structure followed by the arrangement of atoms and then we will check the electronegativities of atoms as well as we will check if there are any lone pairs on it. So um, when you look at the Lewis structure of XCF4, it is somewhat like this where we have xenon in the center we have four fluorine atoms that are surrounding the xenon atom and there are two lone pairs of electrons on the central atom now uh, this structure is quite symmetrical because all the four fluorine atoms are arranged in uh, opposite directions so even though fluorine is more electronegative than the xenon atom the electronegativities will cancel out each other due to this symmetry Generally, the molecules that have a symmetrical distribution of electrons or atoms, they do not uh, have any polarity and there is no net dipole moment in this molecule. So even though fluorine atom here is more electronegative than the xenon atom, th there will be no net dipole moment in this molecule. There are also two uh, lone pairs of electrons on the xenon atom. But as I mentioned, as there are no uh, net dipole moment in this molecule, it will not be affected by this lone pairs of electrons. And hence, as there are no poles in this molecules, XCF4 is a non-polar molecule. I hope this video helps you to understand the polarity of XCF4. And for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.